All right, all right. Day two was late, and in the time between its supposed release time versus when it actually released, which was just two hours later, I got to witness the dying hope of the community just before day two even dropped. And all of a sudden, faith was instantly restored. We're getting info on new contracts, a sea school contract like UI, war paints, and a teaser on the new cosmetics. But you probably know about that already. So instead, I'll just tackle the weapon cases and cl hopefully clarify some things. Emerging from the wild, we have two new weapon cases, the Jungle Jackpot and the Infernal Reward. There's a spy joke in there somewhere. Looks like we have an answer to the new weapon skins dubbed the War Paint. It will replace campaign weapon drops and weapon cases as of this update. Under the analogy of being given a prize ticket, you just have to redeem it at the store, except you get to choose from over 40 available candies. War paints are like the tough break festivizer, but can be applied to a new weapon of your choice. No more modifying old weapons, because the future is now, old man. Simply select from the item choices per war paint, preview your new item, and hope to god it's worth more than 3 cents on the market. Some war paints even bring back stat tracking and unusual effects, unusual effects, just to add to the variety of madness alongside the community made war paints. That means over 15,000 weapon combinations. Yes, I did the math. Not counting unusual effects from new and old. This move, this move alone can easily outpace CSGO's skin market in sheer variety, but probably not in market worth, as if we didn't already have enough worthless things already. There are 24 new skins available, along with an additional one of them making 25, and someone already made the Dragon Lord joke. Seems to be only available in the contracts though. Also noted for the retired cases of Gunmetal and Tough Break, their skins are now also war paints and can also be found as drops from the 36 contracts that will be released. There are 18 skins from both of those updates, so that will mean each person who bought the pass will either be able to get only one of each classic paint or have a low chance to get one of each as random drops, especially with the new dragon skin in the mix, the Yeti cosmetics the Saxton hat, and the monstrous Mementos hat all in the same mix. With that, many war paints are contract drops. That probably means they will either not bear stat clocks, and if they do, this skin will probably be random. The same goes for unusual effects, if they intend to have that be a possible possibility amongst the drops. Seeing as it's not from a crate, that is highly unlikely, but there is a chance considering the exclusive dragon skin among them. The PDA-like object known as the Contractor appears to bear your cosmetic rewards beforehand, but will have a possibility of a random classic skin drop. So you aren't stuck with whatever the Valve RNG gives you. The introduction of Blood Money as a drop will allow you to redeem it for an item of your choice in the updated related gift shop. Simply visit the Mercenary Park gift shop from your in-game Contractor PDA, which is also a nice wearable cosmetic assuming the drops will actually be worth something. I guarantee you there will be people buying an additional pass on alt accounts to maximize case drop access, as well as profits. I know some of you are greedy enough to do it. Don't give me that it's an investment nonsense, you tainted soul. After all that, cases will drop every week the campaign is active, and not once every goddamn day you play the game. I'm looking at you, rainy day case, and every other case before you. So. What do you think of the war paint concept? Let's discuss in the comments below. I'm definitely going to cover the case changes and unusual effects once we get info on that. But for now, this is Tobias and I'll catch you guys later.